for more restaurant closures around the valley. Plus, for the second time, Dirty Dining heads to downtown Summerlin. Also tonight, Chief Investigator Darcy Spears is taking us out for sushi. It's that time of year again where the roaches are back and this week they are out in force. We've got four places to tell you about. Three of them were shut down for cockroach infestations. In fact, the only place that did not have roaches is the place that did have the most demerits. And that place is Sushi Loca in downtown Summerlin. With a 38 demerit C grade, they were just three points away from being shut down. Head server Ju Yun Park takes us back to the kitchen to talk about the health violations. They came very busy times. So. They came at a busy time. And then they watch you they, when they cooking. So. Inspectors saw problems with hand washing after cracking raw eggs and found cans of fuel stored over boxes of food. Also, restaurants are not allowed to keep potentially hazardous foods past their use by, sell by, or best by date. At Sushi Loca, there were two half gallons of sour cream and 10 quarts of yogurt that were nearly two weeks old. Another half gallon of sour cream had expired sometime in January. Why was that stuff in there? Some of it dated back to January. Uh, I think we didn't use any like items, but I think that is just they didn't, you know, check. But we found this, so I throw it right away. Inspectors also found fried soft shell crab left on the counter at an unsafe temperature, raw beef thawing on top of a cardboard box, a severely disorganized freezer with several foods stored on the floor, and fly zappers installed over food prep surfaces. Well, so if it zaps the fly, the dead fly is going to fall on the food. Yeah, you know, that is kind of, you know, not makes sense because the company we use top company, right? Yeah. Who she says installed the zappers incorrectly. As for this mold in their ice machine, yeah, has his sector found some, you know, the dirty, that moldy, yeah. slimy stuff. Yeah. that nobody wants in their drinks. Yeah, but we already clean it up. There is some good news for Sushi Loca. Mm -hmm. Well, all the other restaurants in this report had cockroaches. You guys had none, so that's good. You're going to stand yeah. out in that way. Two restaurants and parts of a grocery store were shut down due to bug infestations. At Pancho's Vegan Tacos on Pecos and Tropicana, roaches were everywhere. Inspectors even found them living in discarded condiment cups, which were filled with cockroach feces. The tortilleria inside La Bonita supermarket on Rainbow and Flamingo failed its initial inspection due to multi-generational German cockroaches. And if you've never seen a cockroach egg casing, here's your chance. The bakery was also closed due to that imminent health hazard. And Longhorn Casino's restaurant on Boulder Highway in Harmon was shut down after inspectors following up on a complaint found multi-generational German cockroaches and black mold. Check out the wheel on this piece of kitchen equipment. Here's how it looked after a deep cleaning. Upon reinspection, despite finding greasy residue on shelves and equipment and the smell of rancid grease at the loading dock, the restaurant at Longhorn was allowed to reopen. All the restaurants and La Bonita Market are now back to A grades. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.